but I just think it's crazy how hard it's become for me to find Ninja Turtles lately. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. This week's video is about Zolocon, which is in Warminster, Pennsylvania. If you don't know about Zolocon, it is a, another toy convention in the country that uh, sells vintage toys, obviously. And I was up there filming for uh, Bobby and Valiverse, as well as Alan with Attorney of Dreams, uh, and looking for turtles, uh, looking for Ninja Turtles, of uh, which I really didn't find. If uh, you're going to Zolocon for Ninja Turtles, um, don't, because they didn't really have a lot. As you will see, they had some carded figures. Um, they had a, someone had a bin of loose figures as well as some nicer, sort of complete, not really complete figures. You could see a hot spot there, but not really a lot. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Zolocon do not mix. Now, what is Zolocon? Uh, Zolo cases, uh, the plastic cases for carded figures. The guy that makes those puts on this con every year. Um, it's a good vintage toy show. It had a lot of stuff, just not a lot of Ninja Turtles. Uh, I did end up buying some things. Uh, you can see the Mythic Legions booth. I'm not a big fan of Mythic Legions. I am a big fan of the company, Four Horsemen, and Mythic Legions and what they're doing. I think it's pretty incredible. It's just not uh, something for me. I'm not big into fantasy. I don't like Harry Potter. I don't like Game of Thrones. I don't like Lord of the Rings. Kind of makes me um, odd to my friends, but I'm just not into fantasy wizards, dungeons and dragons and stuff like that. Um, but I am into skateboards and they had a pretty awesome skateboard there. I have right here. Um, it's got their monkey character on it. Uh, I don't know anything about Mythic Legions, so I don't really know about the Monkey King, but it's pretty cool. I love the artwork. I love the blue color. I'm a big fan of blue. Um, and I love old school decks. I bring a deck with me to every shoot because I learned shooting the grassroots uh, racing series, shooting at tracks that are two miles long. Uh, they need to get somewhere. You need to get somewhere fast. Uh, so if you just jump on the board with your camera and head on over, especially in like a convention where they have cement floors, or if you're in an airport flying there and you need to get your flight, uh, or if you just need a really good shot, just hold the camera, get on the board, get you a good tracking shot. So I'm collecting skateboards now. This is a great addition to the collection. Now I will say the holes are too high. Four Horsemen Mythic Legions, you do great toys, but you don't know a lot about skateboards and that's okay, but I'm gonna have to have them uh, drill holes right here. These holes are fine. This is just too high. And I think they did it because they maybe didn't wanna like cut into the picture. Um, maybe they should have made this smaller or lower. You know, it's, you don't know until you know, you know? But um, as you can see from this guy, uh, the top of the truck should be here, not up here. But that's an easy fix. I'll have the guys at the skate shop uh, do it and I'll have me a nice uh, new board. One thing I found out at Zolocon is that there's a Ray Filet variant from the uh, vintage line, which I didn't know about. I asked Alan with Attorney of Dreams about it and he said it's the the color of the chest, you can see that he had one for sale. He had the variant for sale and then someone else had the regular version for sale. Now, as you know, I'm doing a documentary called Variants. This was very hard to pass up. They, I think they are both around 80 bucks. I just am trying to stick to getting the Leos, the 50 Leonardos that I'm just doing my best not to stray from that right now. But it was cool to find out a new variant. If you knew about this variant, leave a comment below. Tell me about other variants that I don't know about because I really love variants. Uh, and this Ray Filet variant was pretty cool. Uh, something I always love learning more about Ninja Turtles. Uh, and this was cool. So, yeah. Uh, Sparrow Toys. Big shout out to Sparrow Toys. They do their Animal Warriors of the Kingdom line. I love... 
Again, it's it's the fantasy stuff, so it's not for me, but their figures look incredible and their colors. A big fan of orange and teal, if you haven't figured that out lately, and they kill it on that. Uh, I talked to these guys for about 30 minutes. They're in Lafayette, Louisiana, which is one of my favorite cities in the country. And these guys are super, super nice. If you see them out, go talk to them. They're super approachable and they will talk forever to you, especially about toys. Uh, could not be more friendly, in my opinion. And he may have a lead on a Leonardo that I need. So I was really excited to talk to these guys. Didn't buy anything from them. They have this really cool tiger, tiger figure that I really wanted, but I did my best because it's just a rabbit hole to go down, especially if I like the people behind the company and I really like these people. Uh, they probably hate that I'm not buying their stuff, but at least I'm giving them a shout out on my small, tiny little YouTube channel. Now this Brickheads, I, I'm a sneakerhead, and Brickheads, these Brickhead figures are big in sneaker culture, and I've always wanted one, but they are pricey. Uh, this Slash Brickhead, was a thousand dollars and I wanted him very, very badly and thought about it for a very long time. The guy that runs the booth will tell you that I thought about it for a very long time. He's probably disappointed I didn't buy it because it's awesome. It's really, truly awesome. It's probably the best thing I saw at ZoloCon uh, and I'm kicking myself, but I knew I was headed to Vegas next week and that's a thousand dollars I could have spent on the blackjack table that I just couldn't do it. Uh, I really wanted it though. It's pretty cool looking. Leave a comment if you have a brickhead because I want to know people that have brickheads and I want to know if after they buy them, are they just like, Ugh, I shouldn't have done that? Or they're like, yeah, I love it. I love this piece. It was a great show for everybody except for anyone collecting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because they just did not have any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But there is something I have been looking for for years now. Something that I played as a child on my Sega and nobody knows about this game. I talk about this game all the time. I'm like, ah, I don't remember that game. And it was so good. It was so hard. It had its challenges for sure as a game. It was a very, very difficult game, but it had this vibe to it, this feeling to it that was unlike any other game I've ever played. And it's Ghostbusters for the Sega. And I got it. I didn't get the uh, instruction manual, but I mean, who cares? The game itself is in pretty good condition. Um, the case, I've had, I just love, I love the, uh, the grid. You can kind of see the grid wall. Uh, on it, I just, this is a, such a nostalgic feeling for me to own this game again. It, it's so weird, but so good. If you've played this game, leave a comment and let me know that I'm not the only one. I'm not crazy. I'm not dreaming that this happened, but this is around a hundred dollar game. If you have the manual, I think I got it for 80 because it didn't have the manual, but it's hard to find. No video game store has it. You can only find it on eBay or at Zolocon, I guess. Uh, but I'm super happy to add this to my collection. And I guess that makes Zolocon a success because I got a piece I've always wanted, even though they didn't have any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is a very massive toy line that should be at a vintage toy store or toy convention. Come on, people. I've been to so many toy conventions now where they just, like Retro Toy Con last year, had the voice actors of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. And all the vendors thought that all the other vendors were gonna bring so much Ninja Turtles that they didn't bring any because they didn't want to compete. So nobody brought Ninja Turtles. And I was like, what are you doing? The voice actors, like the lines were crazy for these people and there were no Ninja Turtles to buy. Wasn't the case this year at Retro Toy Con, but I just think it's crazy how hard it's become for me to find Ninja Turtles lately. Uh, and I think that's mainly because people just kind of have the main stuff 
it's really hard to find people bringing the goods, bringing the rare stuff, which is what I need now. Um, I'm heading to a couple toy shows this month, so we'll see how it works out. But it's getting hard. It's getting hard to get these 50 Leos, these last 10. Um, it's pretty difficult. But yeah, that's my time at Zolocon. Got two awesome pieces. Uh, my Mythic Legions Four Horsemen skateboard. My rare Ghostbusters game for Sega. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now and end this video. Leave a comment, let me know. Thanks.